I'm starting my video for Cars and Coffee SoundCloud right here on the road. The main event space with all the best cars is just up there. But this year, for the second edition of Cars and Coffee SoundCloud, it has just gone crazy. They have absolutely ramped up the space for cars and they've opened up one side of the main road that runs right up to Samalar Beach, right parallel to it. And they're parking cars all the way along here. Got all these R35s here. Then you got Minis. Then you got a Morris Rotary. And over here, got a load of Daihatsu Miras. And that's just for starters. That's just the first few meters. And you can see this Evo with Malaysian plates. And in front of me, a city with Malaysian plates. And here we have an R34 also on Malaysian plates and a Honda CRZ. People have come up from Malaysia. And as I say that, it seems to be like all Malaysian cars along here. But anyway, this event has really taken the grip. We've got cars come up from Singapore, around about two dozen of them. Hundreds of cars have come up from Malaysia and they're all rolling in here. I've opened this whole new area up. And if you're sharp-eyed and watch my video, you'll also know this is the track for the Song Class Street Race, which is coming up for its second edition at the end of this year. And then it just stop one second and look at that K70 wagon. Absolutely beautiful. Those wheels, three spokes, absolutely period nail it. But we need to carry on. So this is the second edition of Cars and Coffee Song Class. Cars and Coffee on vacation. And this has basically gone round Thailand. They've been to Chiang Mai, been to Hoa Hin, been to Pattaya, all sorts of places, been to Karat. And last year where they came to Songkhla, it just blew apart. There were thousands of people, maybe 10,000 people came down. The place was packed. There was a huge buzz. And for the second year, loads more people are coming, loads more cars. And just look at that minivan down on there. And they've come from all around Thailand. And here we have a Type R with caution student driver on it. So stay tight and I'm gonna show you around. A lot of cars have come from Bangkok, which you can actually see in my previous video. A lot of cars come from Malaysia. A lot of cars have come up from Singapore. And a lot of photographers as well come up from Bangkok as well. Good to see you guys. So everyone is here in Songkhla for this event. So I can say stay tuned, stay buckled up, and I'm gonna show you and just look at this EF with a pure ground smooth metal bonnet. Man, that's beautiful patina. Look, gonna see everything today. There's a lot of Evos here today and this one really stands out with its full time attack spec. It's running on 18 inch bulk racing wheels and you can see the Rocket Bunny style extensions. Got another Evo here, all carbon fiber front end on it. Another one all come up from Malaysia. I saw this at Cars and Coffee Karat and it is absolutely full on. Perfect timing here because this thing dances up and down. Look at that man. This was one of the highlights of Cars and Coffee Karat. The size of those Brembo's, they must be 10 pot. Big massive cross drill discs and just look at the movement on that van. And I'll just show you inside as well because it is completely done out and when it goes dark this will be a light show. And in Karat, they had a big lad in the back as ballast. And then, man, look at that KE25. How original is that? This Vios is pretty interesting. You can see he's got a little bit of a subtle wide body kit on it. And he's got bigger wheels and tires and a lot of details. And he's also got a Perspex bonnet and he's deleted out the scuttle panel. It's got a lot of wording here, 69, a lot of patterns and something I wouldn't really want to repeat. And he's got his 1NZ all nicely decorated up. But what I like is, he's got a complete composite front panel that he's done the whole front section, apart from what looks like a forged carbon lip spoiler. And it's actually cut out here. You can see he's got 69 here, and it's actually cut out into the bonnet. Very nicely detailed car, this. Kind of like that, you know, when people take a Vios and they do something like that. And a lot more going on as well. It's got a full cage in it. It's got a carbon boot and a small carbon ducktail and a big board exhaust and custom lights. A lot of work has gone into that car. 
We're going to see a lot of K cars here, and I'll start with this one because he's got the bull bars on the front, he's got the spotlight, the bumper overrider there, detailing there, wing mirrors, chrome vent, everything going on on that. So we're going to see a lot of mirrors because there's not a big scene in Thailand. There's a hardcore scene, but it's not big. But in Malaysia, the scene is absolutely huge. And the south of Thailand and the north of Malaysia kind of blend together and influence each other. So in the south of Thailand, you get a big mirror scene. And you can see these cars. They look real pure, old school street racers. It's mostly going to be a JDM fest. I mean, you look at that RX-7 there, and that emphasized my point. But right next to me here, we've got a classic Morris. And right behind me here, we've got a classic Mini Cooper. So we've got a couple of British cars squeezed into all this. So this is the main area where all the best cars, all the cream of the cars, and it's a real mix, the southern tuning scene. Cars come down from Bangkok, which I showed you yesterday, coming down on transporters and then driving down. And a mix of southern cars. And to be honest, I'm really interested in the southern cars here because there's a fantastic scene down in the south. And I want to show you that. And it's not just cars come down from Bangkok. Here's one of the most famous photographers, PSM. This is a very familiar car. You'll see this at all the car shows in the south of Thailand and the north of Malaysia. And I'm saying that again. These guys travel a lot in a mirror. And a couple more cars from the South Thailand, which also I've covered quite a lot. Richard's Mark I Escort, which he really gets out and drive. And you can see the Classic Revival sticker. He's from Hai Yai. He came up to Classic Revival last year. And then this Alpha 105, which is also swapped out. And last time, well, last year I saw it on three spokes. It actually looked good. This was also at Retro Havoc. And in fact, here we go. Still got the Retro Havoc sign on it rich's car has been everywhere done everything goes everywhere that is probably the most famous mark one escort in thailand and i have driven well i have ridden in this a couple of times it sounds good and it goes well and here's the car we don't see a car shows here too often a gran turismo and it's wrapped in this kind of yellow gold which looks pretty good it actually pulls out all its details and it's got a carbon fiber detail in the little ducktail, carbon fiber door handles, mirror, all those details that make them pretty epic. And here's a car from Singapore that travels an awful lot. You look out for this name, Grey Little 3, on Instagram, on social media. This car gets absolutely everywhere. Here's a couple more cars, a little bit familiar, but from the south of Thailand, from this area, this Cressida. I first saw the Retro Havoc the other month. Beautiful build, swapped out. And then this Datsun pickup, man. Absolutely amazing done. In fact, there is my name on it from last year. And look at the wheels here, these NK wheels with drag style. Look absolutely fantastic. The whole thing is done really, really nicely. I like these wheels and the stance. And I love the kind of the whole rat look originality. You know me with that. And these twin back bores as well coming out. This Proton here is getting pretty famous now in Southeast Asia. And one reason is this 8,500 kilometer trip that the owner Chen sitting behind the car did. I've done a whole video on this car. So if you want to know more about that, check out down in the description and I'll throw you a link and you can find out all about that car because we went through this absolutely amazing journey that he did. And here we have a car that has raced on the streets of Songkla in a proper organized race, the PT series. Last year came here for a street race and the circle was literally round here. This race is in the PT series, so this is going to be the fastest car legally on these streets because it's a proper organized street race. And then cars that you never see at a car show in Thailand, number one, a Morgan, and it's on Malaysian plates. Man, you never see these at car shows in Thailand ever, period. We've got a beautiful red leather interior, all that beautiful detailing, perfect condition, and this has come up from Malaysia as well. If you follow my channel, you'll know I am a rusted on Alfisti. So now 
it's an absolute part of car shows in Thailand. It was Malaysia, now to join Thailand, and we have the noisiest guys in Thailand right here. We came here with the EK. We have another noisy guy here. This guy could talk noisy over an exhaust. And this man with the best FD, and I should say, come name here with this EK. So we have all the noisy guys in one place. And it's only coming up to six o'clock. You can see the sun is just starting to set there. And it is about to absolutely kick off here. Already around me, you can see the crowds absolutely rolling in for this event. And now they are having the How Low Is Your Stance competition to kind of kick things off just before the light goes. And this is basically an old traditional competition where you see if you can get your car under the wire. It's kind of fun, it's kind of silly, kind of stupid, but that's what this event is just about. It's just about a good, fun night connecting the car community, the people who build the cars and love the cars with everyone else, with the people of Song Club. So as always, I'm gonna apologize straight off for the noise we're gonna get on this video because pop bang was a big Malaysian thing and then suddenly about a year ago it hit Thailand and now it's Thailand and Malaysia and we are full of cars running anti-lag software that are gonna just make so much noise Man. I stopped talking for a minute look at the flames this is what tonight is gonna be all about flames and more flames and loads of noise People just having a lot of fun and some really cool cars. That black RPG Sport travels to every event you can imagine. This is quite a new car to me, this 240Z. Here we have Car Cult EG, which has just had a completely new wrap, so you hardly recognize it. The god of noise himself, right here, the king of Retro Havoc. And a car that has been built up and up and up, and now it's as noisy as anything. Then the widest body FD you will ever meet. And I absolutely love the aero on this car, just replicated on the back. Come names, EK, which is all white, got a fantastic interior to it. Gone by Gretida. One man comes to Songkla, sits on the beach and buys a car, or one so far that I know he has bought this weekend at 240Z. And then I'm just gonna nip on because another one of my favorite cars. And I always thought this was a show car till yesterday. And yesterday, come pun, hammered this car like there's no tomorrow. And I realized this is not just about cruising around car shows. This absolutely shifts. And then we have an SX, a local car, which has crazy working headlights like this. I absolutely love that. I've seen it a few times before, and it looks absolutely crazy. And then look at the crowd. now and we're still not up to seven o'clock and it is absolutely packed
talk about this FD quite a lot. This is the widest FD you're going to see in your life. And I love the air to work. I love this diffuser work. And these kind of reverse dive plates here, just watch it there and knock my head off on the wing. And look at those arches and that floor and the barge boards there. And then the aero replicated on the front. Really, for me, this is one of the best FDs I have seen in my life. When I came down here a few hours ago, I said all these mirrors are customized and detailed up. But what I didn't realize, they've all got lights in the engine bay. And this guy here is actually lit up, a Daihatsu badge. I love that kind of detail. But we just go down very quickly and you can see every engine bay here is backlit. That is absolutely unbelievable. Right up to the one in the end that I stopped and looked at and said, this is full on. I have never in my life seen that done. It's a split bonnet that hinges up into the middle. I have never seen that in my life. I mean, it's got a big custom turbo on it, an engine swap and everything like that, but forget all that. That is unreal and it is right in the dark, so you can't really see what is going on that well. When I was down here before, I said, oh, there's a Mini and there's a Morris together. That's quite rare to find these two British cars there, but what I didn't realize is when I came back, there's another one of these Morris 1300s here. And again, that looks absolutely mint. And this one has been kept really stock as well. It's definitely had a respray. But look at those steel wheels and steel caps on it. Absolutely amazing. All beautifully done, beautifully stocked. The interior there must be retrimmed in this climate. And still in between them, we've got this full on RX7. I've always got a weakness for A31s, you'll know that if you watch my channel, but this one is really nice, really clean, not too overdone, and this blue colour is absolutely perfect. This van that I showed you earlier on that I saw in Karat and I said it lights up, it really lights up. I mean, look inside here, looks like Blackpool illumination today, that is a full-on truck build looks absolutely epic and the sound is gonna pump from this tonight Okay, so hi guys, I'm Wei Chen from Singapore. So it's a privilege for me and my team to come up to Thailand. So it's a great experience here. 
Uh, hope we can come up for more events in Thailand and uh, see you in Bangkok in December. Okay. So what <laughs> I am Thailand and I am very happy when I see all everybody to come to see me at Kai's Coffee and Vacation on Songkhra. Bye bye, Thailand. Woo! Wow, this sound is beautiful. Come on, come on. 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 Hello, I come from Chiang Rai. I come from Chiang Rai. I went to I come to Songkha to see a car. This raptor here is definitely not stock, it's all modified, you can see around the front, big winch on here, big spotlights, everything going on, but what I really like is the Falcon livery. I've seen this on a lot of things in my lifetime, a lot of race cars in Europe, in Japan, in America, but I've never seen it on a Raptor before. He's actually got a mini one right on the bonnet as well. That looks pretty decent. <laughs>
first met Fast Cult RX-8 a couple of months ago at Retro Havoc. They just finished it and they shipped it over for the show and I was absolutely blown away by it. It was one of the stars of the show for me. This wide body kit is just, I can't look at the camera, I have to keep looking at it because it's just so amazing. It's on air, it makes a hell of a noise, just a fantastic car and it's really nice to see it up here today. And then we have Ali Sylvia, which is having its first run in on a new engine at Retro Havoc. They pushed it in and out of the show and this is actually the first run in and Ali and Farah are actually here as well. So I need to track him down, see what he's got to say. Hi, Ali here from Retro Havoc. So today I'm here at uh, Songkla Samila Beach for Cast and Coffee on vacation. So the event is wild and crazy. And I'm very happy that they, they, they want me to come here to, to bring my team here. And uh, this is something new for me because this is my first time here uh, to join an uh, event in Thailand. Yeah. So we drove all the way from KL uh, to Songkla. We've got the ambulances doing their light show thing here. Lights flashing everywhere. And look at these banks of LEDs. And look, actually, I wasn't even going to talk about this. I'm just using an intro for that. But look at these lights here swinging away. How cool is that? Anyway, we'll leave that alone. But man, this Orion. I saw this a few months ago. And I saw it a couple more times at car shows. But I never tracked down the owner. And I was quite surprised to know actually what it was. I kind of forgot these things, but I've talked about this already, but I want to talk about it again because he's done some details on it. Official pace car and the lights going on. And I really like all this detail. But what's kind of shocked me a little bit is, first time I've spoken to the owner tonight, and he said that the whole kit is actually made from 3D printing. He did the whole thing, 3D scanned it, and then 3D printed it in Thailand. <laughs> that's amazing and i love the work and the detail that people go to like that and it looks absolutely bang on i mean i don't know the orion i'm not even sure i've seen one in my life outside magazines and google but that looks absolutely bang on and i wouldn't know the difference i love that kind of thing and i love these pace car details now he's added on to it 